Since I started teaching online, I used worksheets to reinforce the lessons that I teach. How do you create those worksheets? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. This video right here is part of our Learn to Teach series in which I try to teach teachers the things that I've learned in the past six years of my educational content online. And like I said in the intro, kanina, one of the most powerful tools that I use are yung mga libreng downloadable worksheets that my students can download from my website at teamlaika.com. Now, mahirap gumawa ng worksheets, lalo na if you're making your own questions, which I do. Mahirap din mag-format ng worksheet. And there is also this danger na minsan, kapag sinave mo siya as a document file or anything else, kapag binuksan na siya sa ibang computer, di ba, nag-iiba na yung formatting, nag-iiba na yung blank, gumagalaw na yung mga text, nag-iiba na yung font. So, nasisayang yung effort natin sa paggawa ng carefully crafted na material. So, that is the reason why I really suggest that you use PDF files instead of document files. But then, there's a problem with PDF files, which is, paano sasagutan ng mga bata ito kung walang blank? Di ba? Kasi kapag word, pwede nilang i-insert yung kanilang itatype dun sa cursor lang, tapos type away na sila. Now, the way that I do it is I turn the PDF files, the worksheets, into forms. I will show you exactly how to do that through our sponsor for this day's video, ang Foxit Phantom PDF Online. Yun yung gagamitin natin software, which is what I'm using din right now sa paggawa ng mga worksheets that I put up. They can turn yung inyong worksheet into a form and tamper-proof din siya. Ibig sabihin, hindi nila pwedeng biglang ibahin yung values o kaya lagyan ng mga typo or anything like that. Okay? So, let me walk you through my entire process from scratch hanggang sa pagsasave, hanggang sa pagsasend. Alright, so I have this file right here. Ginamitan ko muna siya ng simpleng uh, word processing software. Uh, meron akong name na nilagay and a blank right here, score. Tapos yung time started, time ended. Now, ang gusto ko lang i-point out here sa part na ito ay number one, maganda kung ilalagay niyo yung time started at time ended. Lalo na if these are drills meant to build up yung speed ng inyong estudyante sa bahay. So, whether anak niyo yan or mga estudyante niyo sa school, maganda if you, record, you have the recording time started at time ended. Just so you can see yung duration ng pagsasagot uh, nila dun sa worksheet na yon. And of course, yung blank para dun sa score. Okay, now, dito, I have all the questions typed na rin. If you notice, I leave blanks right here para in case they want to print it out, pwede silang mag-sulat uh, ng solution nila dito bago dun sa final answer nila. Gusto ko rin i-point out na instead of using yung control U or yung underline, tapos itatab mo para magkaroon ng blank, ang ginagawa ko is I use underscore, paulit-ulit. So, type ko lang yung underscore, ganyan, paulit-ulit. And ang reason ko for that is kasi kadalasan kapag nag-underline tayo tapos tinab natin, nasisira yung formatting kapag nilipat mo siya ng file. So this way, uh, fixed yung dami ng mga blanks. Magkakasukat din yung mga underline ko. So I can make sure na pare-pareho sila. Yan, pare-pareho sila ng haba. Okay. Kakopy-copy ko lang siya. So control c control v lang for the blanks and I'm good to go. Okay, so again, ito yung sample problems. Ganyan ako gumawa ng worksheet. I make my own problems para hindi tayo mamamblema sa copyright. So, hindi ako kumukuha ng mga questions galing sa ibang mga books. Tapos, ang ginagawa ko is yung answer key ay nasa next page. Okay, so ganyan, ganun din. Yung answer key, nilalagay ko na lang. It's in big red letters. Tapos, nakabold din para mas madaling makita if in case the parent uh, wants to check yung work ng kanyang anak. Now again, kung kayo ay teacher, of course, you won't include yung answer key doon sa worksheet na ipapadala nyo sa inyong mga students, pero I just use this as a sample, okay? I also use yung footer na function to put my logo and of course, yung additional na links para makakuha sila ng more lessons and of course, the page number. Now, using yung Word document ninyo, pwede nyo rin lagyan ito ng watermark, okay, or any other thing na gusto nyong ilagay. Okay, so now na na-format ko na siya dun sa gusto kong maging itsura niya, all I have to do is to save it, okay? I don't even have to save it as a PDF 
Kasi yung program that we're going to use, which is yung Foxit Phantom PDF Online, can convert Word documents into PDF files. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko lang dito, I have it pulled up right here, open file. Tapos bubuksan natin yung ratio rotation worksheet that we saved kanina. So, naka-docx siya na file. Pero this, okay, this website will convert it into a PDF. Ayan. So, again, hindi naman nagbago yung formatting niya. Same yung font, same yung itsura. Okay, and na-take away niya lahat, pati yung mga design choices that we made, like yung pagiging bold nung, nung numbers at saka pagiging uh, red din nung ibang kulay. Now we have that. Okay, so ito na siya, ito na yung file, naka-PDF na siya. Now, most people, ang ginagawa nila kapag PDF na, isa-save lang nila as a PDF, tas isa-send na nila sa iba. But, ang maganda dito sa Phantom PDF Online is that you can turn this into a form. Okay, na ano yung pinagkaiba nung PDF file sa form? Kapag PDF file kasi, in order for a student to write on it, dapat meron silang hiwalay na software, so they can insert text, okay, dun sa inyong file. Or, they have to print it, okay, which again, sa panahon ngayon, eh, hindi na masyadong madali para sa maraming mga estudyante natin na wala namang gamit sa bahay. Kaya ano ang gagawin natin? Instead of, isa-save natin siya as a regular PDF file, gagawin natin siyang form para pwede silang mag-type dito sa boxes for their name, score, and pati yung mga sagot nila. Okay, so how do we do that? Ganito lang. It's really easy. Okay, bawal kumurap kasi mabilis. I... Um, Tap nyo lang yung form dito sa tab sa taas. Okay? So, nasa form na tayo. And all you have to do, okay, is click on this. Okay? It says, Run Form Field Recognition. Okay? So, tinan nyo ha kung gano'n siya kabilis. Itatap ko lang yan. Okay? Tapos, ayan, the PDF form has been created. Tapos, i-okay lang natin siya. Okay? And you see, lahat ng mga parts na nilagyan ko ng mga underscore dun sa file, these now turn into blanks na pwede nilang lagyan ng values. Okay? So, isa-save ko lang siya. Pwede na siyang i-distribute. Again, the students can just type. So, kunyari, lalagay ko like a maravilla. Yan. Or ano yung sagot ko dito? Kunwari lang, ha? Kung ang sagot ko ay, um, uh, sabihin natin, 72. Okay? Yan. Pwede ko nang ilagay yung mga information na yon dito, instead of, di ba, yung kailangan ko pa siyang i-print, tas saka ako siya sulatan, saka ako siya i-picturean or i-send pa pabalik sa inyo. Okay? Now, here's another thing na very helpful sa tingin ko. Okay? And ginagamit ko rin siya. You can actually protect this file. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Minsan kasi, again, if you have really tricky students, pwede nilang i-edit yung tanong Diba? Para kung kunwari, ayaw nila ng 81, gawin nilang mas maliit na number. Or kung kunwari, English yan, lalagyan nila ng mga typo. Diba? Ayaw naman natin na mangyari yun. And um, para hindi nila pwedeng ma-edit yung document, ibig sabihin yung mga parts na hindi form, ibig sabihin walang boxes na ganito, hindi nila pwedeng baguhin yung text. Anong gagawin natin? Ganito lang. You tap on protect, okay? Tapos itinan natin yung password protection. Okay? So, pagtapos sa password protection, meron na tayong options dito. Okay? Pwedeng number one, pwede ka mag-require ng password para buksan yung document. Ito yung maganda if, for example, you have a different na worksheet for your first batch of students, sa kabilang section iba naman, or hinatin nyo sa set A, set B, para maiwasan ng cheating, pwede nyo lagyan ng password yung document para sila lang yung makakabukas nung, nung document na yon, Okay? So, that's an added na bonus ng protection yon. And then, another thing that you could do would be this. It's called Document Restriction Settings. So, lalagyan ko lang siya ng Document Restriction. I-check ko lang yung, yung box na yan. Tapos, this time, I can now do a lot of things. Which is, I can um, change the setting na ang pwede lang gawin, ito sa changes, nung tao na mag-open ng file nito is to fill in the form or sign the existing signature fields. Pag tinipe ko to or tinap ko to, ibig sabihin, pwede ko ipadala yung, yung PDF sa kanila, pero kahit gumamit sila ng software, kahit gamitin nila yung Foxit Phantom PDF online na software, hindi rin nila pwedeng baguhin yung mga nakalagay na dun sa file. Hindi nila pwedeng singita ng text yung file. Dun lang talaga sila sa form boxes pwedeng magsulat. Okay? So ako, yun ang preferred ko na mangyari. So lalagyan ko lang siya ng password. Okay, ganyan. Okay. 
And now, it's saved like that. Pwede ko na siyang file, tapos, isa-save na natin siya. Save and download, okay? We can even send it sa inyong drive. Now, your students can just write their names. Okay, so, Laika, Maravilla. Tapos, yung kanilang sagot. So, again, 72. Um, here, uh, eto, gawin natin siyang 6, 12, 18, 24, ayan. Tapos, kung kunwari na-fill out niya na lahat, so, meron na siyang sagot. Pwede niya na itong i-save or i-print. Yan, ipiprint niya lang. Save as PDF. Save. Okay, this is just a sample naman. Tapos yung file na yun ngayon ang isasend nila sa inyo. Now, if you notice, hindi na siya pwedeng galawin. Okay, kasi again, pag na-print na yung form, hindi nawawala na yung boxes na yun that they can insert information. Kaya, ang mangyayari, parang final na to. Final na yung isasend nila sa inyo. Okay? So, I really enjoy doing this, lalo na kapag graded na exercises with my private tutor, tutoring students, at saka yung mga iba ko pang mga estudyante sa online review, ganun. Uh, ito yung ginagamit natin. So, again, nagiging form in just two clicks yung isang simple na word file that you created. Hinahanap niya na, hindi mo na kailangan lagyan ng box dyan, hindi mo na kailangan mano-mano lagyan ng mga settings, two taps lang magiging form na siya. And if you save it the right way, hindi nila pwedeng i-edit yung file. Now, let me show you how how important that is. Okay? Ganito yon. If I open a file, okay, let's take another PDF. Okay, for example ito, comparing fractions. This is another worksheet that I created. Notice na through, again, the Foxit Phantom PDF online, kung kunwari ikaw naman yung gustong mag-edit ng ibang file, you can actually just tap on edit Tapos itong text na ito, yan, edit, text or image. Tapos pwede ako mag-tap here, yan, no? pwede ako maglagay ng ibang, cat, ibang words. So write the correct comparison symbol, uh, pwede ko siyang i-bold, yan, or anything like that. Pwede ko siyang i-edit kapag regular file lang siya. But notice what happens if I open yung kanina. Ayan. So if you notice, again, binuksan ko siya. Edit, and then you, you see, hindi pwede yung add text. Hindi ako pwedeng magsingit dyan. So, what does that mean? If I send this to my students, ba? Para i-fill out nila, hindi nila pwedeng galawin yung mga questions, yung mga hard-coded na mga, na mga numbers, tsaka words in my quiz. All they can do is to fill out itong mga blanks na ito. Dito lang sila pwede mag-type. Pero hindi nila pwede i-manipulate yung pinadala nyo sa kanilang tanong, pinadala nyo sa kanilang exercise. So, again, for teachers especially, this is a really good way to protect yourself. Kasi ayaw naman natin na, again, wag naman sana na yung tipong maganda naman yung tanong mo, tapos iniba nila lang yung tuloy ng typo, di ba? Tapos ang mangyayari ngayon, parang masisisi ka pa kasi ano, mali yung tanong na pinadala mo. So dahil ganito yung settings niya, this is really helpful if you're creating your own worksheets. Okay, so that is what I do. You just format it. You see, you open it to foxitsoftware.com. You don't even have to turn it into a PDF first. You can tap, you can edit here, you can organize things here. You can even add a lot of things like links or anything like that. So, pwede ako maglagay ng mga annotation dyan. Pwede ako maglagay ng mga attachments. Yan, pwede ako magdagdag ng additional file. There are a lot of other features that you can explore. And the best way, again, to do this is through Foxit Phantom PDF Online kasi it's free. Okay, hindi ko yata nasabi agad sa inyo. This is totally for free. Uh, you can have the link right here. It's flashing on your screen as well. And you can try it out. Check and see. All you have to do is to log in using your credentials. Diba? And now you can explore and do all of these things, open all of the features. If you have a student account, then pwede rin ninyong gamitin yun to make sure that you get the premium version for free nitong Foxit Phantom PDF online. Okay? And again, actually, makakatulong din ito. Meron din silang app na PDF Reader and PDF Editor. We featured that in two of our other videos. Isa doon yung how to read your readings and the other one is how to... Uh, study yung mga slides na minibigay ng inyong mga professors. Those two videos will be linked na lang din here in the i um, button if you're watching on YouTube. And again, thank you to our friends from Foxit Phantom PDF Online. Thank you for uh, letting us have itong free access dito sa inyong mga products. Uh, actually, hindi, hindi bago ang Foxit Phantom PDF. Uh, yung Foxit is uh, in, an industry leader when it comes to processing mga documents and mga PDF files. 
they're used by Google and a lot of other offices then and a lot of other schools. So this is just a really golden opportunity for all of us to make use of itong technology na to dun sa paggawa ng mas marami pang educational content. Alright, so that's it muna for now. I hope may natutunan kayo. I hope magamit nyo to ng gusto. And uh, if you have more time to explore, you learn more things, more features from this program from this website and uh, if you have any questions then request pa ng iba pang topics don't forget to write the comments sa baba again this is part of our learn to teach series so if you want to watch the other videos we talked about how you can use just one phone to fill an, an entire video lesson the links will be right here in the i button at saka dun sa description box din sa baba and as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I mean, join the online or live review events, you can visit us at www.facebook.com slash for more information. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell. Marami pa tayo pag soon. And uh, I hope to see you sa susunod. Okay? As we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja, kain yan. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now. Alright, thank you for watching until the end of the video. Meron pa tayong ibang videos and there is one right here that you can watch. And if you want to get to know me a little bit better, yung aking personal vlogging channel ay nandito. So you can click on the face right there to subscribe. See you soon!